our teacher, our leader, our instructor, Dr. Anthony Hall. Let's hear it, family. Now, nah, y'all gotta make some noise with that. Go back, go back, go back. Because last time I remember I said Everton Blender coming and I hear some serious noise. I'm gonna try it again. He is our brother, our teacher. I'm mean, hear you know, you know, don't make me speak patois. He is our teacher, our leader, our educator, Dr. Anthony Hall. Give it up, family. Greetings, blessed sister, and greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eilis Selassie I. Jalov, Jalev. Well, brothers and sisters, we want to give enough thanks and enough praises. So I'm going to say a few words tonight. First of all, we want to give thanks to everyone who came out. Ja blessing to see you and live long and live, live lovely. Want to give thanks to Brother Vernon for hosting us at Tree Lion. Can we get a big round of applause for Tree Lion Restaurant? As they said, no animal parts inside, so just check it out. Can drink and eat anything, <laughs> no fear. Want to give thanks to the sponsors over there, Jamaica Tourist Board. I can remember distinctly that 20 years ago, the Jamaica Tourist Board would not come to a ganja event. Isn't that true? So times have changed, as Peter Tosh said. Times have changed. And over there we have uh, Roots Magazine with Jabalani, another sponsor. Uh, for those of you who don't know, because Jabalani doesn't say much. He just sits there very quiet. But he has been pushing the word for like 20, 30 years. Right? Big, big thanks. I'll we'll give thanks to the DJ. Also next, I want to give thanks to Brother Ayavi. I don't see him right now, but uh, we probably will hear his word later. So Ayavi has been fighting the struggle for Ganja and Rastafari in Jamaica, for all Jamaican people, yes. for decades. Yes. So you probably wonder why, you know, he, he might look tired. That's because he, he was in New York and L.A and Kingston, and Port of Spain, and I'm sure he has five more trips planned that he hasn't told us. But uh, first of all, who was at Reggae Roots Fest last year, December? Just a quick raise of hand. Yes. You had fun? Yes. Yes. Was it educational? Yes. Did, did you go to all the booths? Yes. Uh, you, you spoke to the vendors. Yes. There were vendors there from Scandinavia, France, Central Europe, Canada, U.S., and of course Jamaica. And there were other Caribbean CARICOM vendors there as well. Uh, did you watch the shows? Yes. Yeah, you didn't? Only, only two people watched the shows. All right. Well, folks, IAV has put his whole life into this. This event is trying to showcase in Jamaica what Jamaica can do. Not only by itself, but in conjunction with the whole international sphere of marijuana. And it's a big conglomerate business now. The attorney was here before. Can we give a big hand for the attorney? Because most attorneys have been locking up people for ganja, right? True? Not true? I mean, go to Georgia, pull out a spliff if you want to go to Georgia and Atlanta and you'll be in jail real fast. But she has been working around CARICOM and around the industry, trying to spread the word and build up the business. What have I been doing? INI has been pushing the medical aspect. As um, Jabalani has put in the magazine, and you might say, uh, who has heard the expression, healing of the nations? You ever hear that? Healing of the nations? What is the herb doing in the healing of the nations? Okay, this is what it's doing. There are approximately 180 diseases now in published literature, meaning that you can go look on the internet, look on Google, open a scientific journal, read a peer-reviewed article, and you can see a description, for example, of Parkinson's disease, and the use of cannabis and cannabinoids in Parkinson's disease. 
Anybody here has a family member with Parkinson's disease? Anybody heard about it? Yes. No, yes? yes, yes. What about a family member with post-traumatic stress disorder? Yes. Anybody seen that? Yes. Anybody have any members in their family who are in the military, got sent abroad, fought a war, came back, have PTSD? Very common disorder. Probably res the, the, res the, the reason why, you know, synagogues get shoot up. PTSD. What has been the treatment offered to the American military veterans? Not much. But they know that PTSD is very well controlled by cannabis. And they're fighting to get that through the Veterans Administration, just as we are trying to get it through to them. What about epilepsy? Has anybody ever seen or heard of someone who had a seizure? Seizures, very common disorder, isn't it? Can get it from head trauma, from a brain tumor, from a brain hemorrhage, or even other sources. What is a very, does anybody know, we'll, we'll do a little question and answer today because, um, well, the host has said to do questions and answers. Um, does anyone know what is the cannabinoid that is very effective in treating seizures? Shout it out. No, that one is uh, partially correct. Name another cannabinoid. CBD. Anybody know what CBD stands for? Cannabidiol. So CBD, how can you get CBD? You can get it simply from even a pen like this, a vaporizer pen. This one is from Julian Marley. Anybody ever heard a Marley name? Mm -hmm. Julian Marley, yeah, he's got CBD. There's CBD all around the country. It's endemic, it grows very well in hemp and cannabis. How effective is it in controlling seizures? Greater than 97%, which is a, in, in our field, that's called good. Okay, we, we don't deal with 100. So 97 is almost perfect for us. So 97% efficacy in a drug, and we might as well discuss things in cannabis the same way that the big pharmaceutical companies from Canada, Israel, Australia, Germany, and the US are discussing it. These cannabis products that we're growing at home, back a yard, and other places, are actually the medications of the future. They were the medications of the past. They got suppressed, mostly around 1937, with a, a law that was passed here in the US. But now it's seen a revitalization. So last week in Canada, the entire country legalized cannabis. Why? Because it's gonna help their economy. That's the main reason why. It's not because they're primarily interested in helping the Canadian citizens. They want to help their economy. They want to make medications of CBD, THC, CBG, CBN, CBL, all these cannabinoids, and then sell it to us. What IAV is trying to do is to put Jamaica first. Did you hear that? Yes. Put Jamaica first. Yes. What we're trying to do in Pure Jamaica Island Traders is put Jamaica first, put the Jamaican people first, step them up to the plate in this business. This is a big business, people. It is a multi-billion dollar business. The business in Colorado alone is about 60 billion a year. The business in California is probably about 192 billion a year. And the business in Canada will make all of that look like peanuts in one year from now. It literally will.